All right, so I am back, and today we are going to be doing a comparison video with uh, some Dinobots. My camera seems to be a little off center here. There we go. That uh, looks a little better. It's odd. Um, maybe it's just at an angle. Anyway, so. Uh, like I said, I hadn't been doing, um, showing off the dinos in, in the dino mode, uh, either with each other, against other dinos, and then also just size comparisons. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So we're going to start this off with the Toy World dinos. So here they are. And yeah, they, I, I think they look really nice together. Uh, as you can see, they scale pretty well together. Although, again, I still say the weakest part of him is the, the neck and head. I really wish this was bigger. Um, but yeah, you can get a good, a good look at those. Um, and we got some other demos I will show off as well. And then, and then at the end of it, we'll, I'll put all the third party dinos together. Um, so, here they are with the Fall Cybertron Grimlock. This is the chromed version. Uh, somebody had asked me the other day if the plastic, the gray plastic on the chrome version is different from the regular version, and no, no it's not. Pretty much the only difference is the chrome. So here he is with these guys. I don't think this works at all. Um, the aesthetics is different. These guys are definitely more G1. Um, for aesthetic wise, uh, and he's definitely fall Cybertron. Uh, also size, uh, he is a lot smaller, um, than these guys, uh, due to the hollow plasticness of, you know, the nature of the beast right here, really. Uh, but also because he's just a regular Hasbro Voyager, where these guys are, I'd say closer to like an ultra class. Here they are with the MP Grimlock. And again, I don't think this works very well for dino mode. I think MP Grimlock is definitely bigger than these two. Um, you know, Snarl here doesn't look terrible, but Sludge definitely, definitely is noticeably smaller. So. Like I said, I think it looks okay, but not great. Um, we've got some other dinos I'm going to show them off with here, and then, and then, like I said, at the end of the video, we'll, we'll I'll do a, I'll have all the third-party dinos together. Here they are with the Age of Extinction Grimlock, and again, uh, due to his proportions. Of him being just regular Voy Hasbro Voyager, I don't think this works at all. Not not one bit. Uh, and the aesthetics is completely different. Now getting into the realm of ridiculous, uh, here they are with classic Grimlock, which actually, you know, now that I'm looking at it, he actually does, I think, look better with these guys. Than the um, uh, Fall of Cybertron Grimlock. Um, he, he's too small, but at least the aesthetics do actually look pretty close. Um, I, I kind of like that. I think this actually looks pretty good. Um, you know, maybe if I count him as like maybe a, a Velociraptor different name or something like that. That doesn't look bad at all, um, to be honest. I, I, I actually kind of like that. Here they are with the um, Energon Grimlock. <laughs> I don't know why I still have this thing. <laughs> it just looks stupid. Just ridiculous. Uh, here's my, probably my favorite T-Rex of all time. Um, there is the Beast Wars Megatron and he looks Gorgeous with these guys. I like that. Um, yeah, the paint style doesn't work 
but he's he's that size that would work with these guys um, that looks good I like that I like that a lot um, yeah all right and the last dino to show them off with here they are with <sighs> Trypticon or Gigastorm in this case but same thing uh, so they, I think they work pretty well um, obviously he should be massive massively bigger than them but I, I think he's pretty close enough so there you go um, and then briefly we'll do um, let's see we got here's Rodimus that looks pretty good I'm not gonna go through all of them um, And here's the Seeker Mold. And that looks really good. I really like that. I think that's about right where they need to be. <coughs> and... Devastator. And again... I think um, for these particular dinos in dino mode, uh, perhaps Hercules might work a little bit better, um, but this does look pretty good because um, they were pretty big, big back then too. So, All right. So for the next couple sets of dinos, you're going to be seeing pretty much much of the same thing going on here. So we'll get those guys out of the way. So here we have the fans prize fans project dinos. And no, I'm not special, so I don't get the uh, early releases of the. Uh, swoop so so yeah there those guys are together uh, obviously they look really good together because of their aesthetics um, but let's let's get some other dinos out here and see how they look with them um, so we'll start with the age of extinction dino grimlock and now uh, size he's 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 okay-ish with these aesthetics his aesthetics is almost good enough, but not quite. Um, I, I, yeah, I'm not liking that one too much. Uh, here is the Fall Cybertron. Um, again, the, these designs, while they're Neo, are all, also very nice designs. They d did a very good job creating these two figures and putting him next to this guy makes you really sit there and think wow somebody dropped the ball on that you know sculpt wise for him so I don't think this works very well for dino mode um, here's the MP Grimlock um, and size wise um, he works pretty well with MP Grimlock. I, I, I can't I can't sit here and deny that. Uh, and I got him almost all the way into Dino Mode <laughs> this time. Um, he still, I think, should be a little bit bigger, but he does work pretty well enough. But the problem is, is Neo Design, Neo Design, very G1 design. Um, so that doesn't, doesn't work very well. Um, and I'm just noticing... He's got red eyes, and he's got blue eyes. I kind of wish they would keep with the same thing. Um, that's kind of crappy. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I think while size-wise they do work pretty well with MP Grimlock, I do think um, I do think uh, the design isn't quite right. So, classic Scrimlock. Um, now here, the design looks good, but the size is way off. 
he's way too small with these guys. Um, he really, really needs to be a lot bigger. Um, that's that's really all there is to it. He's just tiny. That's Hasbro's fault. Energon Grimlock, which looks like they should just kill him. I mean, just yeah, die. Oh, okay, I'm done playing stuff like that. <laughs> I tried. All right, and. Megatron. Um, now this design doesn't quite fit right. Um, these things are more Neo Dinos, and this is definitely more of a. I mean, it's more realistic Dino, so I don't think that pull that that pulls off pretty well. Um, <coughs> of course, here's Trypticon. Uh, I think this this does work pretty well for these guys. Um, this size. Giant. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, I think uh, again, you know, uh, the Herc um, yeah, Hercules will probably scale a little bit better than these guys with these guys, but this still works pretty well. I actually, you know, in the movie, he was able to take out one of his legs by charging it, so that actually looks about the right size so so yeah these guys I, I would say these guys are just about right actually um, obviously because of you know s s scale difference differences of opinion on scale we're gonna get all sorts of different things here's Rodimus um, looks all right and Seeker, and that looks great. That looks really great. So getting these guys out of the way. Are the Planet X guys? Uh, who, as I've said, look great together. Um, I still, I still wish the swoop was bigger. Um, that's never going to change. Um, you know, everyone's telling me that that's the size he was in the game. Well, that might be fine for you guys, but I really, really want a bigger swoop. I don't like. A little deluxe class sloop, swoop, unless you know the the other dinos were going to be small voyagers, but they're not. So anyway, um, here they are with uh, false Cybertron Grimlock, uh, and this is the non-chromed version, so you can see how they stack up. And this actually does look pretty good. I, I do like the way this looks. Aesthetics are pretty much spot on. Uh, Size-wise, I, I do still wish the Grimlock was a little bit bigger and um, a little bit more filled out. But it does work well enough um, that if you get to that point of when they make their Grimlock, you, you know, uh, you can make your decision on whether or not you do want to spend the extra money for a new Grimlock or not. So this is definitely the best Grimlock that's going to work with them. But we'll go through the, the motions here. Here is Energon Grimlock. Uh, this 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 toy just has no place to go. <laughs> it really doesn't. Um, so it doesn't fit there. Uh, movie Grimlock. Um, and that doesn't look terrible. Um, I think if you got one of the other versions with like um, the the gray. Or the black and silver chrome one that might fit a little bit better. Uh, or if this, I think there's one out there with the orangish metal color here, more muted, more like this. I think that would look pretty good. Um, but it's not, it's not terrible. 
classics. Um, again, uh, due to their proportions and design, they really just outshine him in every way, which isn't saying much, honestly. But <laughs> Megatron, uh, and that's actually not bad. I I do like that look. Uh, I do like the way he looks with them. Um, you know, if somebody were to repaint this guy into a false Cybertron style Grimlock, I think that would probably work pretty well. Um, I think uh, they're originally going to do that with the false Cybertron Grimlock um, repainted into Beast Force Megatron, but that never happened. There they are with the MP Grimlock. Again, size wise, it's not terrible. Um, I don't think this works perfectly, but it does work well enough. Um, size wise uh, I'd say it's uh, almost passable but again we go into the extremely G1 design versus Neo fall Cybertron design and that that's where it doesn't work very well and Trypticon um, who was in the game but that not this particular one and then I, as, again I think this works okay not perfect but works okay enough giant uh and now now there's their proportions are a little bit smaller than the toy world and the um fans project ones so this actually does scale really well i, I do like the way these guys look with him uh, i really do rodimus um and now this is starting to get into a field of where he doesn't quite work because he's a little too big for them And Starscream uh, still, I think he looks great because they should be bigger than than the Seeker. And last but not least, we'll get Thunders out here. Um, and, and yeah, unfortunately there's only one G creations dino at the moment. And I think, yeah, I, I'm really, really looking forward to being able to do this comparison video later this week with him. Um, now let's see here. Let's go fall Cybertron Grimlock. Um, and that is absolutely never going to work no matter how much you try <laughs> just no um classics again not even close not even not even close energon and that's just despicable putting those two on the same field That's not too bad. Uh, Scale-wise, that wouldn't work together. But that doesn't look too bad. Um, at least their designs are pretty nice. Um, nope. Just nope. MP Grimlock. Uh, this is gorgeous together. These two work just perfect in, in this in this scale. I think this is exactly what you need, right right here. The, these two work together very well. Trypticon. Uh, now now we get into the field of Trypticon should be a little bit bigger. Um, it does it does still look nice but he should be bigger here is giant uh and then see we're now we're getting into the i think hercules would work a little bit better with these dinos but at the same time i think he still works well enough um it, it's a close one it's a close one 
Um, that looks good. That looks real good. And seeker. Uh, I still I still say that looks good. I do. So there's that. And I don't have Scoria anymore, otherwise he'd be out here too. Uh, I think him and Scoria would scale decently together. Not perfectly, but decently. Um, I do have um, the Bull's Fire swoop on the way. Um, he's supposed to be here today, but I don't, I don't, he didn't come in yet. So, um, And I, I think he's going to scale really well with him and the MP Grimlock. Um, but let's get... Uh, Let's get a whole bunch of dinos out here so you can kind of see how they all stack up. Kind of have to do a side proportion there. Here's all the third party dinos. It's kind of a teaser of what we're going to be looking at later this, later this week. With all the uh, <laughs> sludges there. He should be back here because he's bigger. And the itty bitty swoop. So there you go. There is a sea of third-party dinos. Uh, yeah. Still don't have a full set because they're, nobody's making one <laughs> in a set that works very well. Um, yeah. Not until they're all out, I guess. But, but yeah, there you go. Um, there's all the dinos. I, I really like all of them. Um, you know, I give them a hard time. But I, I do like all of them. I, I do enjoy playing with them and stuff so but yeah there you go uh third party party dinos um getting ready for my stampede